Now, obviously I'm dressed like a ninja because I was doing a little breaking and entering, you heard? So I obviously had to step up my game, blend in with the environment. It's hard to do it when you're this pasty guy, so I, I had to hide like a ninja to do it and shit. And I finally got the job done. Man. Not gonna tell you what I did, but it was fucking awesome. You should have been there. It was fun. Yeah. Now, anybody that understands this channel understands that there's this little thesis, antithesis, synthesis thing going on. It's like, when I redefine things, I'm trying to understand it fully. And the big thing is anarchism. Like, anarchism is the one word that there's like a billion definitions of. And what it boils down to a lot of things, but... Most controversial besides no statism, no rulers, no archons, no hierarchies, and it's like, for one thing, we know that out of all these theses and antithesis shits that we have to deal with, what it's not, it's not the utter definition. It's not the ancient one that too much freedom leads to anarchy. That has its own little thesis and antithesis. And I guess you can apply that and synthesis to all that other. You can apply that shit to any word, but when it comes to anarchism, people are trying to find a way to make anarchism make sense. And that's not something I feel we should bother trying anymore because it works. Like, maybe not everywhere, but I guess it works in some places. Maybe it's this thing that, yeah, it's not the building block of the world. It's not the a priori truth. Like, I try to make it seem. I mean, politics is basically just social interactions. And we use, use economics, sociology, and these other little sciences to try and understand it. But the fact is that there is no universal way of being social. That's not how evolution works. Oh, that's not even how reaching the Ubermensch would work. This isn't some Chomsky and universal language shit. There was another antithesis for that of Plato Aristotelian proportions, and that's whatever it had to say, that language isn't a universal truth, that he went to the Parah tribe and none of the rules could work. He had to find a way to learn the language on his own. Because evolution doesn't make everything magical and universal. It's not this miracle that we were able to learn language or even build society the way we did. It's not like Humans are these people that magically got mimetics and became the top dog. And we may not never be the top dogs again. Maybe one day penguins will be five feet tall again and fucking every animal can like destroy our shits. Even fucking penguins. Imagine a fucking five foot tall penguin trying to attack you. That's the scariest shit I ever thought of in my life. Fucking... March of the Penguins, fucking Morgan Freeman type shit. It's some scary stuff. And when I redefined everything in May, I think I satisfied myself because understanding the hierarchy, the concept of it, basically simplifies everything. Like, I'll explain it like this. With apples and oranges and the contrast. And the comparison that they're both fruits. But the contrast of how they're different fruits. One's citrusy and one an apple. The viney fruit. Um, like.
gangs. Ones of hierarchies are like the Crips, Bloods, fucking Latin Kings. They're the organized ones. But police and a lot of criminologists and people in charge of law are finding this more and more. They're very organized. The joke is they're more organized than the drafters for a Fortune 500. It's the truth. And then you got, on the other side of the spectrum, you got the ones without the hierarchies. The YGs, YBs, and OYs. You got the little teen gangs, and they're more impulsive. and They have their advantages and disadvantages. If I were a little bit more studious and I didn't like get rusty, I could use a financial example. Maybe a credit union would be like non-hierarchical. And I could compare and contrast that to, let's say, a Ponzi scheme or a corporation or something like that. But I can't give an accurate comparison or contrast like I could do with gangs because it's it's simple it's like people it's not abstract like money and investments because investments I really can't visualize it I picture in my mind all I see is money and an arrow that indicates money is being withdrawn Anyway, so what I can say is that basically all ideologies aside, still an anarchist, still have these views. What's changed is my attitude and my outlook on life. Which is to say that, you know, it's a, everyone has their own little agenda. And nowadays, we can tell that society's gonna get really fucked up. One way or the other. And what's most important is that it's just the thesis and the antithesis. It's, we're trying to find ourselves and find out who we are and we fail sometimes. We really fail and when we think we got the next best versions of ourselves we notice the imperfections and we have to keep going from there it's that little spiral and shit other than that it's sort of like uh, I don't know how to explain this very well best way to explain it is that Whenever, whenever you're thinking of an ideologue and how his ideas may be truthful and may help the world, I mean, it can. But that doesn't mean everything's completely subjective. There are rules. Just like there's no universal language, but language has no rules. That's not a, the correct assumption. We're not trying to look for this postmodern conclusion to everything that, oh, there's no fucking rules to anything, uh, I just jack off and shit. No, nah, that's not how it works. There are rules, just not universal rules. And what you gotta do is you gotta say, why is, why does one thing work here and it doesn't work there? What's the underlying problem? What's the synthesis. It's not about manufacturing an antithesis. It's about looking at how one thing works and looking at how another thing works and seeing what's not adding up. What's not adding up to my original conclusion. And you know what? Spiral is just going to keep going again and again and again. That's how the story works. We're not going to find the right conclusion, but believe me, clarity 
and ascending another level does help out. It helps out tremendously. I mean, it might not mean a difference to you because your life is short, but to a larger collective, a, a family, an ethnic background, a nation, humanity, even the whole fucking planet, it does add up. So, there you have it. Does anarchism work? It's worked in other places, and I've basically mentioned that way back then in 2011. However, you know what? Who gives a fuck? We still got more that we need to discover and shit. Because we're still getting fucked up. Anyway, the little gang analogy is my favorite part of this video and the linguistics thing. And anytime I say thesis and tip, this is the comparison between Chomsky v. Everett to Plato and Aristotle and how Aristotle is the antithesis of Plato. I don't know what the synthesis is, but who cares? Just. This is Mr. Walking 7 and suck the dick. Suck this dick and at ah, peace.